you. Bed bugs, they are nasty pests, and they can be a huge hassle to deal with your best defense, a good offense, especially when traveling for the holidays. Consumer reporter John Mattery shows you how to do a bed bug inspection so you don't get bitten and don't waste your money. We're about to enter holiday travel season when many of us will spend time in hotels, or you may be planning spring break. If so, you'll want to know the three things you must do when you check into a hotel to avoid checking out with bed bugs. Hold mommy's hand, please. Martha Kraft and her family recently checked into a motel. They were unaware that some other visitors had already checked in. I started itching all over. My hands just kept itching all night. It was only when they turned the room light on that they discovered bed bugs everywhere. I woke up in the night to feed the baby, and when I fed, I had them actually crawling on me. Martha and Kathy are among the thousands of hotel guests bitten by bed bugs every year in all 50 states. They definitely need to inspect before they start unpacking. Kurt Scherzinger is the general manager of a pest control company. He gave us three tips for what to do when you arrive at any hotel, resort, even a guest house. Tip number one, never lay your suitcase on the carpet by the bed where bugs can be waiting. What well, I recommend is setting the luggage right down on the luggage rack as they come in. Tip number two, inspect all beds, paying special attention to the white border around the mattress. So this is the most common spot to find them, right along the edging here? Correct. Kurt is looking for one of these, a tiny bug that looks like a small apple seed. Or you're looking for like a reddish... Um, brown stain, which would actually be the fecal matter of the bug itself. Kurt sees dark spots along the edge of this mattress. Bug droppings? Possibly, though he says it could be black mold. That looks more like a, a stain of some sort. But these mattresses, while stained, pass the bug test. So Kurt then gives us tip number three. Check around the headboards, behind the nightstand, and in the dresser. I would definitely do a thorough inspection. What if you suspect bugs? Kurt says demand another room immediately. Then, when you get home, wash all clothing in hot water, then dry for 30 minutes in a hot dryer. Put shoes and suitcases outside in black plastic bags. The hot sun will kill the bugs. Martha and her family are still dealing with the itchy bites. It took about four months to get rid of them. Remember, bed bugs have been reported even at pricey five star hotels carried in by previous guests. So just because a hotel is newer or nicer, it's no reason to let down your guard. That way you're safe and you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.